basically, basically it's, it's one of the most crazy and interesting English traditional music. Um, the, the whole thing about ringing the bells in this way is kind of early to mid 17th century, I suppose. It developed in London and the southeast of England and then gradually spread to place, all the places that have strong English influence. So it's all over England, every little village has a church and every little, every church has a set of bells just like it has an organ, pretty much. And then there's some towers in Wales, a handful, maybe 20 in Scotland, maybe 20 in Ireland, maybe if, and then there's like a few in South Africa, a few in the States, a few in Australia, and that's kind of it. So, it's, so, it's re so the tradition is really very focused in England. So it's kind of interesting for me, having grown up in the south of England and coming to Scotland and then to Northern Ireland, to, to be part of the tradition kind of outside its homeland. One of the things that I find really interesting about coming to Ulster is that here, it's mostly local people doing it. Whereas in Scotland, there was very few Scottish people doing it. It was mostly English incomers. So that's, for me, that's a really interesting difference. But in Scotland, I was quite normal being an English incomer, ringing the bells. And here, I'm quite unusual as an English person. They've been ringing in Hollywood from the late 1800s. I personally, I learned to ring when I was uh, quite a young child because my grandfather was a bell ringer and rang at Hollywood for many years. Unfortunately, we've seen numbers decline year on year. At one stage in our Belfry records, it says people, we had to restrict numbers to 24. Now, on Sunday morning, we had four people to ring. It just shows you how easily that can decline. So really, uh, it, it is a skill. Uh, we like it because it calls people to worship on a Sunday morning. And generally, people in the town do listen to it and do hear it and have commented that they like it. And the bells have to be hung a certain way with the rope and the wheel to be able to do this kind of ringing on them. But it's technically very, very difficult. So it takes a long time to learn all of the skills to be able to sound the bell at the appropriate time and then to learn the patterns and learn the rules and everything. So anybody's welcome, but it takes years of dedicated study to get good enough to be part of the band. As I was taught the bell ringing by my mother when I was a young boy, but, I, but those experiences have fed into my understanding of old Irish music. Once you've learnt to ring, the world's your oyster. You can go to any tower and be welcomed to ring there, either here within Ireland or within the UK, further afield. People ring in Australia and all sorts of places. So anytime if you feel that this is a skill you'd like to learn, we're in the tower every Sunday at 11 o'clock. Feel free to come along, introduce yourself and see what happens. It's probably mostly Anglican type churches that would have them, but it's not exclusively. There are Catholic churches with rings of bells. In England, there's even some secular towers that people, that people put bells in them for civic or personal reasons.